Tonight, we know the body of a small child was found on the northern New Mexico compound where authorities were searching for a missing four-year-old boy. While law enforcement would not confirm it is the little boy, they did give us a better look at what was going on inside the complex. News 13's Brittany Bate is following the story. Jess, after their initial raid of the compound, when 11 starving children were found, law enforcement thought their work was done there. But during the interviews that followed, someone told investigators exactly where to find this little boy's body. It's been on their radar for months. They did surveillance, both ground and aerial. A house of horrors in northern Taos County. The conditions were bad. Last week at this place with tires as walls and tarps as roofs. Authorities found 11 starving children living in, quote, filthy conditions. And just yesterday found the body of a small child. When you would at the age range of the missing child about three years old? Most likely. Today, Taos County Sheriff Jerry Hogriff would not confirm the body is that of missing three-year-old Abdul. Saying they're waiting for the medical investigators to identify the remains. But he did say this. We discovered the remains yesterday on Abdul's fourth birthday. Authorities say Abdul was abducted by his father, Siraj Aban Wahaj, back in December from Georgia. A tip led the search to New Mexico, and the FBI started surveilling this compound back in May. But they say they never saw what they needed to move in. The boy Abdul was never identified. Siraj Wahaj was never identified by surveillance photographs as being there. All the children may still be there if it wasn't for a secret message sent to Georgia law enforcement last week. Saying basically that we are starving and the children are starving. Law enforcement raided the compound on Thursday, finding 11 children, bunkers, tons of ammo, and a recently built shooting range. Hogriff has called this group Islamic extremists, but when asked why, he wouldn't respond. I'm not going to define further anything that could compromise the ongoing investigation. Today, Hogriff is responding to questions about why authorities didn't move in sooner to potentially save this missing little boy. I, I wished, in hindsight, there was, but we would not have been there lawfully. Tomorrow, Wahaj, another man and three women who are expected to be the mothers of all 11 children are scheduled to have their first court appearance. They are all charged with 11 counts of child abuse. Jess. All right, thank you, Brittany. Today, 8th Judicial District Attorney Donald Gallego said they are considering filing for a no bond hold. Keep it here on air and on the KRQE News app for the latest developments in this case.